What up, guys? So I'm super excited for today. This vlog is going to be fantastic. I'm going to The Send. I don't know if you guys heard of it or not, but literally, like, people of God is going to be there. It's at the Citrus Bowl today at Orlando, Florida. You got Tasha Cobbs. You got Hattie Baker. You got... Uh, Tasha Cobbs, and I am super excited because, like, this is going to be such a powerful, powerful, powerful event. 60,000 people will be at the Citrus Bowl today, and I am super excited to go and worship God amongst other believers, and this is going to be powerful. This is going to be what? So, follow me, guys. I'm super excited. Let's get started, y'all. Now, the thing is, they don't have, like, any type of itinerary, so I have no idea who's going where, but I better see Tasha Cobbs. I better see Tasha Cobbs. Just saying. But I'm excited, y'all. Like, we about to worship Jesus today. You better like this video if you worship Jesus today, okay? You should be worshiping Jesus every day. You shouldn't be waiting to a gathering to worship Jesus, okay? All right, just saying. All right, see y'all when I see y'all. Okay, so we are here right now, and let me tell you something, it is extremely, extremely hot outside. Like, what in the world? It is as hot as a firecracker here today, okay? Somebody called the ambulance. People is falling out, and it's not under the Holy Ghost. People is falling out because it's so hot outside. It's so hot outside right now. But it feels so cool being around all the Christian people here. Everybody just loves Jesus, and then here I am just loving Jesus with them. And it's just going to be such an amazing day. Praise God, I guess it's so happy right now. Oh my gosh. Look who I'm with, y'all. Well, none of y'all probably really know who she is, but I know who she is. Her and I were in the campus ministry together back to school. Long oh my goodness. A long, what? Long time ago. A long time ago. We about to go in this thing. Super excited. Well, I'm not going, I'm at work. She's at work, I ain't at work. I'm here to do the work of the Lord, though. Ha ha ha, Saka. By the way, like I said, it is extremely hot out here. I want to unbutton the shirt, but the people of God might get defiled by the hair on my chest, so I'm not doing that today. But I will see y'all when I'm in there. Just a moment. Actually, you can go up right now. No test to get options up here. All those envelopes are being passed out. We're using the same short code in the word that we're using for the best of I hope you feel the pleasure of the Lord as you even type home in on your phone. As you type that in, you'll be directed to a portal to give, and on that you'll see the option to give one dollar, two dollar, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars. That gift of a dollar a day will put a child in a permanent home in one year's time. In a thousand days, if we together would own and sign up for 50,000 children, meaning it's a bunch of us put $1 a day. Some of you in here go, no way, I'm going $5 a day. I want to know I put five kids in permanent homes at the end of this year. Make me your son. You made us your sons and daughters. Everything you gave up. Lord, forgive us.
God's about to set us on fire. You need oil, oil. Cry out. guys when I tell you the presence of God was there like people worshiping like of all I honestly felt like I was in heaven it was like white people black people Hispanic Asian like it was incredible all of the multitudes of people there like different races different like it was just so incredible guys when I say that and honestly like there was a part that really touched me as we all know it's February so Black History Month they actually really started saying a lot about how African Americans, they, they, they're praying, they're praying for more African Americans to do mission trips. And if you don't get the whole point of the sin, like sending you off to go do mission trips, the sin, so if you didn't know that. They said during the event, they were like, okay, if you are around someone that is African American, please go over to them and just pray with us as we're praying for more African American missionaries to rise up. And it was incredible, guys. Like they had this one guy come up and he was sharing his testimony and he was a black guy and what he said is is that when he went to one of the like craziest parts in the Middle East and basically what happened was is that he was sharing the gospel of people that were African American blacks in the Middle East and he was able to win them over to Christ because of the way that he looked it's crazy how our skin color it comes some, it sometimes comes down to our skin color guys to win people to Christ because people are better off receiving from people that look like you now that don't mean you need to stay at the black church if God called you to a church that had all colors don't, there ain't no such thing no black church no white church the devil's all types of lies we all supposed to be one but I'm just saying to make a point okay hallelujah let me tell you something let me tell you something they was praying over me baby I'm traveling the world I'm traveling the world you hear me I you see I, you can write it down you can say I am traveling the world I'm getting up out of here I don't know when, but I'm gonna travel the world, okay? <laughs> I definitely have to do it. It was absolutely incredible. Wow. And guys, speaking of color, just like everyone was there. Like I mentioned, like just all colors, everyone. And the youth, guys, the youth. There were so many young people that were my age worshiping God openly and freely, like worshiping God. Don't, didn't care how crazy they looked. Didn't care how silly they looked. They were, they were too busy caring about praising God and worshiping God. And it was absolutely amazing just seeing that amongst us. The millennials are the, the biggest, the, the biggest generation right now to exist on the earth. And I bless God for that. God has such a great plan for the millennials right now that the fire of God will fall down upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters, hallelujah, shall prophesy. Come on, y'all. This is what the word of God says. God has such a great plan for the millennials. God is going to do a great work in us, guys, to walk in the power, the authority that he has called us to walk in. We're going to be a book of Acts church. I'm telling Let me tell <laughs> Hey, hallelujah. Holy Ghost fire. Yes. And one thing that I do want to talk about, because this kind of gets on my nerves, and this is probably nothing to do with the vlog and the send or whatnot, but it really kind of irritates me at times when other Christians, like, don't believe in, like, what the Word of God says. Like, it clearly talks about tongues, how Jesus says, you know, when I leave, power shall come upon you, the Holy Ghost shall come upon you, and you shall receive power. Okay, so what is power? Something that is supernatural. Do you think Jesus has said that just only for the apostles in the book of Acts? And it can't be now. No, not now. What in, what in the devil? Absolutely not. No, the Bible even clearly talks about tongues, talks about the, the prophetic, prophecy. You don't need to run to a sidekick to get insight, y'all. They, they have the same gift as a prophet, but they're using it and yielding it to demonic entities. See, some of y'all don't even know stuff about that. 
Go open your Bible. If you think psychics don't exist, read your Bible. Leviticus, Deuteronomy, open up your word. That stuff is real, yes, and they are hearing from spirits, and these are demonic spirits, but the people of God, we hear from God, hallelujah, and we can take authority over what demonic spirit I try to say over your life. We rebuking it right now in the name of Jesus. This stuff is real, okay, guys? Tongues is absolutely real. The prophetic is real. Come on, in my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall pick up serpent. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. That is the church that God wants to see today. And he is gonna do it amongst the millennials. Millennials, we rising up in the mighty name of Jesus. We gonna be walking in some power. We gonna walk in authority. Believe it, receive it, declare it, whatever you wanna do. It's gonna happen. Okay, so anyways, and we're back. Um, I probably might do a whole other video on that topic, but that's not for now. Uh, but anywho, uh, so yeah, it was crazy like Benny Hinn was there, Todd White, Sean Bowles. These are like powerful people that walk in the spirit of God. It was absolutely amazing. I wish every, I, honestly, like I, everyone, if you like love Jesus, that, that was the spot. That was the spot because Jesus was kicking it that night. He was with us, right? He was kicking it with us. We was saying, hey, how you doing? We was having communion together. I was drinking his blood right in front of him. God is doing some great things in Monster's Generation. I'm so glad to be a part of it. I love you guys so much. There is freedom, there is joy, there is peace in God. I speak against every spirit right now of suicide and depression, which is so uh, amongst this generation. And I speak right now that we are free from every single chain, every, every single bondage, that we are free from it in Jesus' name. I love you guys so much. God bless you guys. As you can see, I am like so fired up in this amazing event. Who's going to Africa? Who's going to Budapest? Who's going to Europe? Who's going to Asia? I'm going. You going? Let's go. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless. See ya.